Guys, this video was a joke, okay? Marley's actually a really nice kid. I mean, guy. Stop putting hate in his comments, okay? It was a joke. So, if you want to put hate in somebody's comment section, put it in mine. And if you unsub from it, please go sub back to him, okay? It was a joke. All right, bye. I've finally done it. I contacted my closest hacker Russian friends and accessed the deepest, darkest parts of the deep net. The FBI is literally breathing down my neck with how much hacking I had to do to get this done. What I've done is I've accessed the very first version of Rainbow Six Siege. I literally have to be the greatest hacker in the world to have gotten this version of the game to wait. There's other people here. Okay, so maybe not the best hacker, but I'm still here playing the first version of Siege. Why would one want to do this, you might ask? The game was broken. There was only like three operators you could choose. If you wanted to be a three-speed and have an ACOG, you only had two options. Bandit and... Jaeger! I need a Jaeger Playboy! I cannot do anything without the Jaeger Playboy! The Jaeger ACOG, my friends, is why I'm here. I was provided with an opportunity, no, a blessing to play Jaeger ACOG once again. For those of you who don't know, Jaeger used to have an ACOG and it was basically like Ash on defense. It was insane. And let me tell you, I like Jaeger ACOG. I like the Jaeger ACOG. <laughs> to do it. It has to be done. You, do you realize I can't do this anywhere else? <laughs> There's nowhere else in the world that I can do this, bro. <laughs> this is what I lived for in Siege, and it's just not there. I'm having the best time of my life. <laughs> this was the beginning of the end for Ash Yeager Mains. Ash Yeager Mains have been abused since this day. The removal of ACOG from Yeager crippled his spawn peaking abilities. Time allowed outside before being detected was moved from 5 seconds to 3 seconds, removing many options for toxicity. Then, out of nowhere, the Siege community received what nobody asked for. More traps! Stripping the Shift W Rush meta right out of Ash's cold, dead hands. Suddenly, many foe wannabe Ash Jaeger mains departed their ways and indulged in the trap meta to become Ash Ella mains. I stayed true to my ways, hoping for a better future, but all I received were subpar wall hacks and an invisible man. And now, the Siege community seems to want to remove the drop shot from the game, which would be the equivalent to putting Ash in a box and locking her there, like a sad, cold little puppy. Playing this version of Siege really was a blessing for me. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but the way the game used to be with its huge imperfections that allowed for a one-man army made the game enjoyable to me. 
I think originally why I enjoyed the game so much is because it reminded me of a game I played on PS3 called SOCOM Confrontation. This game was ahead of its time with the style. It was a 4v4 elimination, one death per round, similar to Siege. I put thousands of hours into this game in middle school and high school, and it just feels so much like Siege now to me. But Siege has matured into something different, which requires five teammates all working in sync. That's truly the way the game should be, yeah, but I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I'll keep playing every day just like I have since I bought it, sure, but it's not as enjoyable. Every now and then, under the right conditions, I'll feel a glimpse of what made me enjoy the game back then. One little flash of clutch greatness that you could do with Ash or Jaeger. One fleeting moment of what used to be the game constantly for me. I'll never be the best at this game, or play competitively, but the memories that come along with the term Rainbow Six Siege have made this game immortal for me. Most of the world doesn't understand, but to me, to us, I think this isn't just a game. Because I think all of us have had that moment, that one fleeting moment of feeling like you accomplished something that seemed impossible. That moment when you're the man. We're not saving the world or saving freedom, but those so very memorable moments of simple greatness and joy make it feel as if maybe you did. Sure, it's just a video game, but those moments, those imperfections that made the game feel almost human, that's Siege for me. That's what Siege was for me. Imperfections are what make us who we are, and I think as Siege evolves and becomes more perfect, it loses more and more of what made me love the game. Because that's what makes us who we are. What makes us all lovable and want to keep going are the challenges that come along with being imperfect. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> I have two more flashes left. Oh no! This is so disrespectful. <laughs> what? No. 